welcome back and this is Zach Plays and I'm here with another Minecraft video and today's episode we are back on our Let's Build World. It has been a little bit of a while you guys and I'm sorry about that but um I did do a showcase and I think I will continue with those showcase. You guys seem to like that so I will continue doing the showcases but we are back to our Let's Build World and we are going to be doing some more Let's Builds. We are not going to be building a house today. Um, I will start working on the new house. I had started it but I really didn't like where I was going with it. I think I'm just going to choose a different house altogether. But, um, yeah, so as you can see, you guys, I have another dirt block in the sky. In fact, I think I want to move that over a bit more. Let's move this over. And we can go, like, up to maybe. I don't know. Oh, my God. Okay. There we go. Um, so, you guys, we are going to be building another plane. Last time we did this World War II Spitfire. Today, we are going to be building a World War I Fokker D1. So, this is going to be an awesome plane, you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys are gonna, going to enjoy this tutorial. So the first few blocks that we're going to need, we're going to need to get um, some black wool, a button, well, some stone buttons. Uh, we're going to need some cobble wall, and there's going to be more blocks in the future, of course. But I will be having to check back with World of Corrales server. I saw this design. I thought you guys would love to see it. So first, oh, sorry. First, what you want to do is take your black wool and put one there and there, and then join it together with cobble wall. And then you can bring the cobble wall back one like that. Then you can break your dirt block. Oh, lighting glitches there. Whatever. And then you can grab some buttons and just put them on the outside. And that's all you're going to have to do for the first step. As you can see, we're going to start building those main um, main wheel part. And I think it's going to turn out really cool. So I'll see you guys back in the next step. Okay, see you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, we're back. So for the next step, we're going to need to grab some red stain clay. Yeah, that's red stain clay there. Then we're also going to need to grab some nether brick stairs. Make sure you have those and some quartz stairs. So yeah, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this design and what it's gonna look like, it's gonna look awesome. So first what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put one red wool, red stained clay on top of the, oh, I can't, can I place it there? I don't, I don't know why it's not letting me. Oh, am I at the build limit? Oh man. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna move this down a few more blocks. I'll be back in a second. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. So we are back now, and you want to take your red stain clay and put it right on top there. Go out one more here. So one, two. Then you're going to want to go three, four, five, six. So back a total of six blocks. Then you're going to want to take an upside down nether, nether brick stair, put it like that. And a forwards up nether brick stair, just like that. So then you have something like that, and then you just add a quartz stair right there like that. So as you can see, we're starting to build the back fin area that leads to the front of the plane, which is most likely going to be around here. So I'll be back with the next part, you guys, with part three. Okay, be back in a second. Back, so we're back with step three. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your nether brick stairs, place them upside down above the wheels just to make it like a little area there. And then also what you're going to want to do is go into your transportation area, grab an activator rail and a mine cart. Well, any type of rail will really do. You want to place your rail like that, and then you want to place your mine cart there. And then, oh, I'm going to have to break that. But then you're going to want to break that block right there. It should. Oh, it didn't fall right in the place. <laughs> okay, give me a second, you guys. Okay, so let's put that there, that there. You serious right now? Serious? Break the block. Good enough. Yay. Okay. So now what we're gonna want to do is take our nether brick stairs and put them just like that. Awesome. And then now, now we have a cockpit and everything. That looks awesome, you guys. So okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm just thinking here. Now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to grab. I think we need some nether brick stairs, just so we can get, this is going to be a triplane, so, um, oh my god, <laughs> I need the stairs back, one second, or, okay, extend that out one more again, and then you're going to want to go out four, so, from right on the top with nether brick slab, so one, two, three, four, and then just repeat that on the same side, on the other side, so, two, three, four. Awesome, just like that. So the plane's starting to develop, you guys. I'll see you guys back in the next part. Okay, be back in a sec. Okay, you guys, so I'm back with the next part. We're actually going to do a bit more wing work. So what we're going to do is go right here and go one, two, three, four, just out like that. Um, and then one, two, three, four. This is going to be a triplane, so it's going to look awesome. So next, you're going to want to go one, two, right underneath, past the, that second cobblestone wall that we built earlier, right at the front, past the wheel there, and then one more right there. So just like that, from the top, Starting to look awesome, you guys. And from the bottom, it looks a little something like that. So, you guys, the plane's coming along, and I'll see you guys back in the next part. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so, for the next step, 
We're kind of going to be adding that little underneath wheel type of thing that I did over there and some exhaust pipes. And yeah, so we're just a little bit of detailing, I guess, kind of. So if all you have to do is just grab a lever and all you're going to want to do is just put a lever on each side of here. And then you're just going to want to put them down so that they kind of look like exhaust pipes. Then you could want to take another lever and put it right at the bottom. So it looks like a little support wheel, you know. And yeah, so that adds a lot of detail right there, you guys, with the exhaust and with the bottom wheel. So I'll see you guys back in... Oh, oh, and I almost forgot. What you're going to want to do is add one more nether brick slab right there behind where the, pl where the person would be sitting. And then, yeah. So as you can see, our planes are starting to look awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Okay, be right back. And as we did say, this is going to be a triplane, so I think we should, right now we have a bit of a biplane thing going on, I think we should make it that triplane that we said we would make. So first what you're going to want to do is right on top of this block here, just go up with any type of block, and on the bottom of that block, you're going to want to place your nether brick slabs just like this, all the way across. So this is going to, a little bit, going to look a bit awkward considering gravity and stuff like that at the moment, but don't worry. And so next, next what you're going to want to do is grab some trap doors. And all you're gonna wanna do is, on the back of all these wings, just go like one, just put trap doors on each of the layers, just like this, and all the way across on the back row here. So, all of them, and then down here too, on this side, and right here. So just like that, you guys. So now it adds a bit more to the back of the wings, and don't we'll take care of that gravity situation in a minute here. So I'll see you guys in the next part. Okay, be right back. So this is a bit of a more shorter step, but just to kind of solve a bit of the gravity problem. So what you're going to want to do is one in, so right here, you're going to want to put a trap door and one right above. And you're going to want to close those so they look like they're a bit connected, you know. It just adds a bit more to the build and just so it looks a bit more connected from the front and from the side and a bit from the back. Not really, but you know, you know what I mean. It's Minecraft, you guys. There's only so much we can do, you know. Okay, so th that was a really short step and I'll see you guys back in the next one. Okay, be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So we're just going to add a bit more detail on the back there. Then we're going to get to the propeller in the next step. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search up an item frame. Make sure you get that in your hotbar. Then you're also going to want to grab a skull. Yes, a skeleton skull. Um, so I'm assuming that this is most likely a German-made plane. So you're also going to want to grab some red carpet and you can place it right there. Um, and then you're also going to want to grab some item frames and right past the trap door there. You just want to put your item frames... And you're gonna want to put a skull in them. So yeah. Um, so yeah. So then you just have something like that. And um, yeah. So in the next step, we will come back with the propeller, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. I'll be right back. We're back with the final step. So what you're gonna want to do is here. I can just clear my inventory because all I need is one more block. And we're gonna grab some cobweb just to make the propeller, you guys. And um, yeah. So. All you're going to want to do is place one right on the propeller nose. Then you just get want to go up one to the right and down one to the left. Or up one to the left and down one to the right. But yeah, you guys. So it doesn't that look awesome, you guys? So we have our um, Fulker D1 triplane. So this looks awesome, you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of our Let's Build on a World War One Fokker D1 plane. And uh, yeah, so it kind of matches flying with the World War II Spitfire in the sky. But yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys are enjoying this vehicle tutorial series that's going on on my channel, make sure to leave a like on this video, you guys. Let's try and aim for five likes. It really made a lot. So um, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.